Well, welcome to Dirt Guy Drive Time, the show where I drive home from work, talking about my day, talking about my life, trying to share some words of encouragement and wisdom with the uh, fine folks who watch this broadcast, including people who don't like me, which is awesome sauce, if you ask me. Um, that's a text from my wife. It says, boom, that's what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know what she's booming me about. Maybe because it's date night. It is September 26, 2019, Thursday night. Going to go hang out. I'm going to go pick up that hot bomb, bombshell of a wife of mine, Cindy Brown. We're going to go. We're going to go rocket at Applebee's with Dylan. We're going to be chilling with Dylan, yo. That's how we roll. Oh, I love Thursday nights. My weekend actually technically starts Thursday night at a bar in Applebee's. Boom. Hey, honey, boom. <laughs> I just boomed her back. Well, not really, because I don't text and drive. Kind of a jackhole does that. Speaking of uh, texting and driving, let me tell you this story real quick, and then I got a little bit of work stuff to talk about. Um, uh, my model railroad video uh, came out this morning, and it's got like 50 comments on it, right? Now, here's the deal. I care about the communities on all these channels we do and all the shows, and so I try to get to all the comments, but... You know, 50 comments, if I could just go, hey, thanks, boom, hey, wonderful, yay, you know, and put some thoughtless crap into the comment, but I just think that's not genuine, you know, I, I really want to be sincere, so how do you do 50 comments, and by the time I get home, by the time that video's done, there'll be 100, um, and again, that's not a humble brag, it's just the reality, I could just blow them off, whatever, don't comment, what do I care? But I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the respond to it guy. So I thought what I would try to do while I'm sitting in traffic before I roll this camera is to bring up a comment and then touch the little microphone thing on my um, phone and then go, hey, thanks, that's great. I used an XYZ valve to make that happen. Exclamation point. Uh, it wasn't working, <laughs> frankly. Uh, I was one of those dangerous people. I might as well have been texting and driving, to tell you the truth. So I, I, I abandoned. I made like three comments. I abandoned the idea. Not only that, it doesn't know how to spell some people's names. Like there's a, a faithful fan named Joel, and I said Joel. How does Joel sound like Joel? Joel. Had I not looked at it and sent it, she would have been offended. Ah, contrary to my overall mission in life. So, I'm um, eh, going to try to get to the comments. Uh, these comments on this channel come first, because you guys are my favorite, just so you know. And uh, we'll try to get to as many as we can after date night, tonight. But, you know, I got this bizarro thing going on at work, and I'm, uh, I'm trying to take it personally, but it's kind of bizarro. Um, I want to share it with you. But first, uh, a quick work update, I guess. been whining and complaining that my framer has been holding up my inspections and my inspector's mad at us and all this stuff. Well, I gotta tell you, we put him off until we knew we were dialed in, baby. Like Jimmy Johnson in a NASCAR. Hey, I made a NASCAR reference. Boom for me. And uh, I'll tell you something. I didn't even walk the job with him. I was that confident. But I had my radio, right? So three times I called my assistant superintendent who was walking with him. So how's it going? He's like, it's going okay, boss. All right, let me know. <laughs> like that, right? That was getting like, like uh, intel while the inspection was happening. Well, I uh, radioed back down just before I was going to leave work to make sure I was leaving it in good hands. And guess what? Signed off on everything. He just wanted to walk around and look at some more junk. Signed off on everything. Even more stuff than we wanted him to. It is amazing because now we can move forward with what we're trying to do and we don't look like jackholes anymore, all right? But, um, so that's like, yay team, right? I'm kind of pumped up about it, can you tell? But then something bizarre is going on uh, at work and I don't know what to make of it and I think I'm just being sensitive, overly sensitive. I think I'm being paranoid is the deal. And it's this, actually, um, Monday, and, and just in case, the person I'm referring to watches this video, uh, I'm going to be as vague as I can, but make my point, okay? Uh, I, there was a person I was uh, dealing with on Monday, and uh, it was a very good interaction. Oh, hell, it's my boss. What do you want me to do? 
Uh, I thought we, we were doing really well talking about some higher level organizational management things within the company, trying to figure out how to best serve our company because we love the place we work, both of us do. And uh, it's a great job, great gig, great company, great ownership. It's all great, all the time. I love working there. So we're talking about that and I'm kind of pumped up, but um, you know, today's Thursday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, not at the job. and and But some of the uh, texts I've been getting and some of the emails I've been getting are, uh, I don't know what to make of them. It's, it's almost like he's checking in on me. Like I'm, I don't know. Like we have a subcontractor meeting every Tuesday at nine o'clock in the morning. I get all the foreman in there and we talk about safety. We talk about, you know, housekeeping stuff and we talk about the schedule. And it's normally a, I think it's a productive time. I don't know. Maybe he does or doesn't, but it's necessary on a job the size that we're running. And uh, this time he called me and he asked me a question that was kind of, well, why, why is this person asking this? That kind of a question. It's like, whoa, dude. Um, he asked me a couple other things, like what's going on with this? What's going on with that? I'm like, well, sir, I, I haven't had a chance to follow up on it yet. It's on the list, but you know, it's nine o'clock in the morning and I'm just getting things going still, but I'll check into it. I'll let you know. And he goes, well, okay. He goes, well, your sub meeting starts in a couple of minutes. Put me on speaker. Okay. I put him up, uh, but, but I'm going to mute so you don't hear me. All right. I, I don't know why he needed to listen in to the sub meeting. I don't care. There's nothing to hide, but it's unusual. And um, we, used to, we used to do a lot of broing in our texts, a lot of LOLing in our texts and stuff like that because we've known each other a great deal of time, probably three or four years now we've been working together in different companies and it's just I don't know I, I'm trying not to be paranoid I uh, get it that way it's like if I'm doing something wrong you gotta tell me I'm doing something wrong and so maybe I guess what I should do is just presume there's nothing wrong and you know maybe this is a lesson now that I'm thinking about it. this is just coming to me right in real time stream of consciousness people this is how I process and these stupid voices that are probably very annoying there, three voices, one sentence. You gotta love me. Maybe what I should be doing is thinking about what's going on at his end. Hmm. Maybe, maybe he's just so comfortable with me that he doesn't have to couch everything with LOLs and smileys and bros. Maybe he, maybe because he can't be there all the time and he feels bad that he's in essence, ignoring my job, which it's fine. I We've got it under control. I call in an airstrike when I need an airstrike, people. Yeah, this is a Whiskey Niner Niner calling in an airstrike. Whiskey Niner Niner. Hey, that wasn't me trying to do a Tennessee accent, okay? That was just me doing an accent. So, you know, I get a lot of crap about my accent for the Midwest or for the South. I think I'm going to give up, by the way. I don't want to offend anybody. Contrary to my overall mission, I'm babbling. So, maybe... Um, Oh, more coffee grounds. Sorry, everybody. Maybe what I need to presume, maybe we can learn something from this, and that is this. Maybe someone's reaction to us, or our, what we perceive their reaction to be, has nothing to do with us. Maybe it has everything to do with them. Maybe they're going through something crappy, under a lot of pressure, stress, home life problems, money problems, I don't know, penis envy. Oh, did I just say that? Well, crap. That wasn't a cuss word, but I, let's not draw attention to it. I'm sorry for that one. Um, wow, what the hell was that? I don't even know why I said that. I can't edit it. It's against policy. Whatever's going on at their end, you could just be experiencing that. Hmm, that's an amazing thought. Has nothing to do with you. Now, uh, another thing that I guess we could consider is when you're all cock out poo poo in the head, how are people going to perceive the way you respond? They might just think you're mad at them or you're just a jackhole or something. When you're not, you're just going through something bad right now. And so we need to be sensitive of that. I don't know. I think there's a philosophy. There's some kind of a thing developing within those thoughts, except for the one part that I regret saying to you, um, that we can consider. Maybe it's not about me. Maybe it's about them. Huh. 
That's amazing. I think the Great Spirit just, I, I just got chills. I literally just got chills. I think the Great Spirit just spoke to me right here in front of you guys. Well, there you go. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Um, that's amazing stuff. Thank you for helping me with that. I hope you got something from that. Well, listen, on the way home to date night, like I said, can't wait to see that beautiful wife of mine. I'm not just saying it because I have to. I'm saying it because it's true, people. And uh, we're going to go party like rock stars. And then I will see you again tomorrow for the great weekend wrap-up report right here on Drink Guy Drive Time. Until then, my name is Steve Brown. And just remember, it's not always about you. Hey, I know I just signed off and everything, and I don't normally add video to the end of the video because that's against company policy, but I thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, after uh, my epiphany from the Great Spirit, I just took it upon myself to text the boss and say, hey, are uh, you doing okay, boss? I sense a disturbance in the force. And that led to a very positive texting exchange between the two of us, reassuring me that... Um, Everything's cool, frankly, and uh, he's just saying, "No, I'm just that grumpy old, the grumpy old piece of crap that you're uh, <laughs> you're used to." And he hates traveling. He's he's traveling uh, to a job in another state this week. So I just wanted to follow up and tell you that you know I think it's true. It doesn't have to be about me. I don't have to take it personally. It could be about the other person, and maybe the best thing I can do for them is to check in and say, "How you doing?" Genuinely concerned. I think it went well. Anyway, uh, that was your bonus content. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.